Exactly. And we'll just get the rain out of the way early in get the week, Monday and Tuesday, and then the rest of your week you can just enjoy that sun. Okay, that I'm okay. Willamette Pass Resort for this week's Work Watch Wednesday, and I just learned how to ski, and they're hiring, so let's go find out all about the positions. Come on. Now for our wind speeds along our Santian Pass, that's going to get a lot of snow and a lot of wind as this low moves on in. It's potentially where the river could be flooding. We still have this flood warning in effect down at the Coquille River, very close to Myrtle Point. Justin Herbert Invitational. This is the second annual one. We were here last year. We're back again at Shadow Hills Country Club because this golf tournament, it's not only a celebrity golf tournament, but it also benefits kids sports, which is such an amazing cause here in Eugene. Temperatures warmed up nicely from this morning as this morning we were in the 30s and now we're already seeing high 40s, low 50s, even mid 50s down in Azalea, which was seeing freezing conditions this morning. You're going to want to bundle up. It is very cold out here. The wind making it feel even colder with that wind chill factor. So I suggest hats, gloves, um, mittens, anything you got to keep yourself warm. And uh, I'll send it back to you in the studio, John, where you're staying warm, I'm hoping. Yes, absolutely, John. Into the 70s by this afternoon, then into the 80s, basically where we were yesterday, and then start to see that steady decline into tomorrow. But we're not going to get quite as hot as what we hit today the rest of your week. Now, our comfort index, currently we're in that ideal sweet spot. Wish we could stay there for the rest of your day, but we are going to head up to that hot and humid area, and then even a little bit in that cool and muggy. So I haven't seen the Weird Al movie that he... Uh he stars oh, yes. in. I really wanted to see that. I haven't gotten around to it yet. Are you a big Harry Potter fan, though? I'm a bigger Weird Al fan, I'll be <laughs> honest. So, yeah, I, I, good for him, obviously. And uh, here's hoping one day I'll find some time to check out that fun little movie, I too. I hope you get to see it, too. I'm a big Weird, Weird Al fan, too. Okay. I didn't know that's where this chat was going to go, John. We found From our common ground. wizards to Weird Al. Nothing wrong with that. We're also seeing good air quality, which is some great news, as if you can remember last week, we had a lot of moderate dots and even some unsafe for sensitive groups. This week, a very different story, as we did have that rain that kind of pushed everything out. And really exciting coming up later on this weekend. It's Relay for Life. Can you just tell us a little bit about what to expect? Absolutely. To help make sure their voices are heard because they can't speak. When Emery Martin ran for kid governor, she needed a platform to focus on. And after careful consideration, she chose a topic very important to her, stopping animal abuse and animal cruelty in Oregon. That's when she came up with her three-point plan. Really helping with our drought index as we are continuing to see this severe start to shrink, moderate kind of taking over and dry even moving in on some parts along the coast. So definitely happy to see that rain be with us, but also a break from the rain coming end of your week starting weekend so things starting to look really good. And this is a small animal room because not only do they adopt out cats and dogs but bunnies as well and other small animals. So who is this Megan? This is Parsnip. Well there it is. If you want to indulge in this delicious pizza and work at this amazing location or one of their amazing locations go to NBC16.com click on features click on work watch Wednesday and apply. This sizzle pie is now mine. Things looking pretty great out there this morning. This is a live look from our tower camera here on Blanton, and we're going to have a pretty nice day ahead of us. Already starting to see that sunshine. Temperature is going to warm into the mid-60s later on. That sunshine is going to be with us till a little later on when we start to see more cloud cover moving on in, and temperatures climb into the high 60s, low 70s. Now, where are we going to be in your comfort index? We've been in that cool and dry, but could we get out of that square? Looks like we're just going to be stuck there. But the next couple of days, we're going to start to climb out of that cool and dry area. We could even get to hot and dry, maybe a little hot and humid as well. But we are expecting a little bit of a change later on this evening as we do have some chances of thunderstorms moving on in. Mostly along our Cascades and our Cascade Mountain Passes, but potential to maybe see a little bit of something in the Willamette Valley or parts of the Umpqua Valley. As we are tracking a bit of some showers moving on in later on this afternoon along the I-5 could see a little bit of something and then we kind of see that dry back out and that cloud cover dissipate into Thursday. So how much are we talking about? Let's take a look at our rain accumulation and not really seeing much at all. Most along our Santiam Pass, this was 
clocking at a hundredth of an inch, so that's more uh, zero to a hundredth of an inch. I don't think we're going to see that much here. Then we really start to dry on out because we do have high pressure that's moving on in, that's building, and this is that high pressure that we're going to be dealing with the rest of your week into your weekend, and we're going to start to see those temperatures really heating on up. Potential to get into the 90s by this weekend for Mother's Day. So something to just remind you about. If your car, if it's 90 degrees outside, after 10 minutes, your car is going to be 109 degrees. After 20 minutes, 119. You get it. Your car is going to be very, very hot. So remember, don't leave anything in there. Don't leave uh, kids, uh, pets, anything worth anything in that car because it's going to be a hot one. And we're going to start to see those unseasonably hot temperatures as we look into our seven-day forecast. We jump from 71 today to 94 on Sunday. We do have the weather alert day, potential to break some records, and it's going to be very, very hot. We're not really used to this weather, so definitely stay hydrated, stay inside if you can. Any Mother's Day plans, maybe move them to inside. Also along the coast, we are seeing those really nice temperatures there as well with that warm up and temperatures warming into the mid 80s. Still very hot for the coast, so plan accordingly for your Mother's Day festivities. Down in the Umpqua Valley, that's when we're really going to see this warm up. Temperatures into the high 90s. We do have a weather alert day on this Sunday, so definitely uh, plan accordingly because temperatures in the 90s, this is a more than 20 degree difference from today to Sunday. We do see that continue into Monday and then temperatures starting to decline. So a hot weekend ahead, definitely plan accordingly for Mother's Day. Okay, thanks, John. We have lots of good advice. And then saw you running and <laughs> yeah. you answered my call. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Greg Spike became a local hero when he rescued a woman from a fire at the Valley River Inn earlier this month. I, I said, come on, come on. Um, and I think when I was saying this, hit me. Hit me, hit me. Come on, come on. What I actually meant was hit me and, you know, and I kind of absorbed the, the fall. Okay, go, go, go. I couldn't quite touch her foot, and I think that really bothered her too. But finally she let go. I got you. Oh. And we fell to the ground. <laughs> when he got home, he showed his wife the video he took on his cell phone. Said, Wait a minute, is that you standing there? And he said, yes, I had to get that lady down. When asked about what made him jump in, Greg was humble about his actions. You know, when you hear somebody yell, help, help, you know, you, I don't know, I, you get involved, I think. And that's, and I really didn't think, you know, if when somebody yelled help, it was kind of instant. I really appreciate that you did that for me. Not anybody who would be the hospital. Um, and you were very calm and helpful to try to keep me calm. You're okay now, stop. Deep breath, deep breath. <laughs> I never thought about anything else. I just, I just did it. So he wasn't going to freeze. I just thank you for being a caring person. And <laughs> bless you. Bless you. Yeah, I'm blessed that I didn't hurt you. Or... No. <laughs> thank and you. Thank you. You risked your life to come help me too, not knowing what was there. So you're a wonderful human being and I'm blessed to have met you. So at NBC 16 and Rife's Home Furniture, we like to acknowledge individuals that are giving back within our community. So Greg, we'd like to give you this check for oh $150. God. Because, what? What? yeah, for being a hero. No oh way. my, no, <laughs> this isn't right. <laughs> I, I'm donating it. Like, wait, please let yeah. me pet it. But, but I understand. Yeah. yeah, they're working. I yeah. get it. I don't want someone petting me when right. I'm working.